Now that you've finished cutting the lines that are on your piece of foil, we are going to roll it into a person. So, you'll see at the bottom, you have the two pieces that are going to be your legs at the top. You have two cuts, which means you have three pieces. This one's going to be the head. These two are going to be arms. The middle part will be your torso. So. First thing to do is to turn it so that the bottom is on your right hand side and the long part is facing your body. So what you do is kind of fold it up here in half. Not literally fold it, but just gently. And curl your fingers underneath the foil as you turn it. And you're making a cylinder, a basic cylinder. You can see when I lift it up, it's very loose. Gently just squeeze that together, very gently. Okay? Now, turn it around so that the bottom is on your left hand side. And you're going to do the same thing with this way. Gently kind of fold it in half, roll your finger under it, and create a cylinder. Once you have it in a cylinder, gently squeeze it so you have your legs. Now let's go to the top. Actually, we're going to go to the center of the body where the torso is. And we're going to gather these two ends together. And I'm sort of printing it right here. And just right here in the center of the torso, I'm going to fold it just a little bit and sort of squeeze it together. Now, I'm going to work on the top of the body. Okay. Find the piece that's for your head and neck. Your arms should be on either side. You're gonna gently roll it under at the same time Kind of squeezing it very gently from the sides. So, I'm rolling it under. And as I go, I'm getting a little squeeze going this way. Roll it under. Give it a little squeeze this way. And that's about as far as I'm going to take it at the moment. Now we're going to do the arms. You want to move the body around until you get to a comfortable place to work with one of these arms. And again, we'll be rolling these into very loose cylinders. So, I'm finding it easier to roll from the outside of the foil to the center. So, again, gently fold it in half and roll with your fingers. Very gently squeeze it together. Now we're going to do the other arm. Very gently fold it in half. And roll it into a loose cylinder. And squeeze. Very gently. Now you have your basic human shape. You have two arms, the head, the torso, and the legs. So, let's start with the torso. You want to sort of flatten it, but not all the way. I find if I put my fingers underneath and I kind of create a hollow, like that, this is going to be the front of your body. But the back, you see how it's kind of concave right like there. But that works pretty good. And then just Keep moving around and squeezing the different parts very gently as you go. Okay. 
when you get to the head and you want to make the neck, just sort of round your hands like this, your thumb and your forefinger, and sort of squeeze a little bit where the neck is and shape your head into kind of a ball. When you do the arms, again, gently squeeze. When you get to the wrist and the hand, just press that together and sort of squeeze right here where the wrist is because your arm gets a little thinner at that part. And you can see here when I rolled it, this kind of ripped a little bit, but that's okay. I'll just kind of squish our head down a little bit to make up for that. And that's fine. Now for the feet, same thing. Grab it where the ankle is and flatten and fold so that you have a foot. Flatten the foot and fold it. Now what we'll be doing is gluing and taping the feet to a piece of cardboard so that um, our figure will stand up. Now that you have your figure, you can start shaping it, moving the arms around, however you want it. 